And now, here we are, the final stretch of the Conway build, the last two episodes, and it's basically part one of the kind of small little build, only not really. We are completely redoing a couple of different things that, of the things that I showed you in the very first episode, the city of Conway. So, buckle down, because welcome, my friends, to the final stretch. And welcome back to the Godway. This episode is brought to you by The Back Shops. Without them and their support with all of their content they have allowed us to use, then we wouldn't be able to do some of the things that we do with the route. So, a big shout out to them and our Patreons. Without them and their support, we wouldn't be able to do the things that we do. So, check out the link in the description below. Thank you to Craig Bishop, Jesse's, and CJ. And so... Where else to begin than with the trackage? Now, I did have a couple of this planned out on how I wanted it to look and how I wanted it to operate, but the first, the first rendition of it just didn't really work out for me. So, we redone it. So, welcome to the little Conway yard. At one time, I want to say that this yard was massive. This yard used to be maybe Ravenna size, if you know Ravenna, Kentucky, we're 2716 and all that fun jazz, but now I'm getting off topic. But um, at, over time, as coal business dropped and the Conway branch first died out, which you will find out more about its history in the released episode, basically what happened was is that a lot of the tracks just got torn up. And with the introduction of the Conway staves, be becoming a railroad, they needed a transfer yard for CSX, and so this was created. The smaller portion of the tracks of the original yard well, was kind of replaced, um, but mostly funded by the Conway Saves Company. And basically I just wanted it to make it to where CSX brings in their trains and gives Conway their cars they need to operate and thus vice versa. It's basically just a small transfer yard. And at first I didn't make it long enough in my opinion for a full on um, like manifests to come in. And so it, off camera I have made it the, uh, the siding a little bit longer. And uh, one thing I had to uh, fight with a little bit was trying to get things to kind of look natural. Uh, wanted to track to not kind of be really zigzaggy so as you can see I'm just taking a couple different ideas and just going with them I did look at a couple track plans which came up with the idea of this little transfer yard of course the yard was bigger on the on the plan but for me I didn't need that much space um, for, for what it for what it is like you really didn't need as much space as the uh, diagram gave me and so what we was wanting to do um, was kind of space out a couple things because of course a station had to be placed here uh, more details on the station especially when the uh, release video comes out and of course this little station platform um, I thought it was I've been told it was too high and especially by uh, <coughs> JKLS uh, well, at the same time, it is kind of too high, and I kind of agree with him. So he gave me another asset, and I have replaced that off-camera. Um, but we did work work out. Uh, it's in the same vicinity, and you guys will see screenshots and stuff like that. You won't see them in the cinematics of this video, which uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys uh, there's little cinematics in this video. Uh, only because um, I only had was able to get like a few different shots, and only because... 
out of nowhere, uh, Vegas just completely quit working, and that's what I've been using. I normally use Sony Vegas to uh, edit and record my, or edit my videos, and Sony Vegas has completely just stopped working for me. It won't, it won't even boot, and so I did lose a couple different uh, things, and I had to relearn uh, how to edit videos in Premiere Pro uh, because I just so happened to uh, purchase the Creative uh, Creative Cloud through Adobe Premiere and um, again through the support of the Patreons and so with that I was able to get uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and so that's what you guys are seeing this video on so uh, excuse me if some of the things kind of a little bit choppy or some of the things are a little bit different I'm still learning on this one uh, this is a whole new learning curve for me so uh, give me a small little break, just a little time. I'm gonna try to work with it a little bit more over the weekend and try to learn some of the some of the ins and outs of it. Uh, pretty much get the basics of it, and you know I got a video going, so <laughs> um, so excuse me on that one. Other than that, yard ladders, yard ladders, yard ladders, yard ladders, yard ladders. I hate making yard ladders <laughs> they drive me crazy like yes they're one of the simpler things in trains but to me they are aggravating to put together i have to like usually i'll put one down and then i'll find out that that's too tight or i'll put one down and that's why is that so long or what are you doing just stop and <laughs> like yeah like yeah that's me honestly with with the whole um, plan of that anyway <laughs> but you know we I work with it and uh, eventually come up with uh, different ideas of how I want it to look and eventually it does come out in the good and so I hope you all enjoy it too um, if that's a uh, basic understanding I try to like again uh, going back at uh, taking a jab at David this time uh, because he basically got me to the point to where I want to create a lot of dead things. <laughs> things that no longer run and then give it more history. Um, which the Conway has a lot of history. But you guys are going to find out a lot of this history in the uh, final episode. Because the final episode of the Conway, I want it to be more of like, uh, more like a, uh, a history type thing. It's basically just, uh, it's going to tell the entire, entire story of the Conway. Uh, let everyone know like what it's all about. And, which obviously if you're watching now, then you know what the Conway's about. It's whiskey barrels and blah 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 blah. Um, trains on an old coal mountain branch in the middle of, in the middle of the mountains of eastern Kentucky. So, yeah. Then you, you guys pretty much get the gist of things. But it tell, it goes more in depth of the entirety, the entire story anyway. The, uh, basically of how I wanted, um, wanted to give the history of the Conway on um, why the branch line was shut down, why the Conway decided to go with rail, why they were <laughs> producing whiskey barrels, <laughs> like why, 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 why? Um, I have a lot of questions as to why the Alcos, why the other thing that's going to be coming with it. Um, there's all kinds of different things that are going into play, and I'm wanting to tell the full story and history of it uh, just to give it more character and yes I know this video is not as long um, not as long as others but I'm hold up I'm gonna jump off track again before I get on the whole video thing this whole scene here I love this scene on how it came out because uh, it's kind of my jab at Ravenna kinda um, because you know how Ravenna turned their old car shops into a locomotive uh, thing. Well, I just wanted the old car shops to be there. It's not in use. It's just they're dead. Because this yard used to be big. And I love how it all turned out right there. And I've done some more off-camera things here here and there through, here, uh, through this entire space. It's just there's a lot of different things that I got to finish up. And we're going to do some live streams where we're just going to finish up ins and outs once these two episodes release. And... With all of that being said, uh, let me get back to why the video isn't as long. Well, first of all, the Adobe thing. I'm still learning on the whole 
the whole new learning curve so I didn't get as much footage in there because I just needed to see on how this all worked and so episode 13 is kind of small but episode 14 the last build is going to be probably roughly around the normal time or a little bit longer uh, so prepare yourself for maybe like a like I did with the Saginaw like it was almost like 40 minutes but it won't be that long um, we're coming up toward the cinematics which is why you're getting ready to hear the Conway theme and it's just a lot of different things that go into play as to why the uh, the yard looks the way it does and why the video is short and it's just there, there's a lot for me to talk about I just don't have enough time to talk about it it's just uh, you guys should come to my streams on Sundays and we can talk a whole lot more about all my fun things that happen and all the different sp spices that I try to put into this route <laughs> you see that entire hillside behind the city of Conway behind that little main street thing to be made well that's all changed now <laughs> just get ready for episode 14 uh, because um, episode 14 will finish out the build series and then we'll finish the ins and outs of the route on a on some uh, live streams and a while this will be while the route is in beta and uh, once the route is done it's done and it's out to you guys for free and I did get to uh, uh, if you guys didn't see the live stream this past Sunday um, we do get to release the alcos with the uh, with the route got permission from the creator and uh, I also get to create a couple different things like I said this video is sponsored by the back shop so is the next video because of their help and support uh, with all of their content and stuff I greatly appreciate it to them and I greatly appreciate our patreons for all their all their support as well because everything like like I said goes into the channel and like you guys need to check it out if you want to become uh, beta testers for the route it's the $15 tier uh, so just letting you guys know about that but go ahead and enjoy what cinematics that they are I just show like basically a freight train coming in releasing its cars giving it to the Conway so yeah enjoy this little spot guys If you guys enjoyed that video make sure to like comment and subscribe and also check out our patreon with the link in the description below and check out the back shops with the link in the description below but with all that being said my friends i will see you on down the line Bye bye